So in this tutorial, you are going to learn how to build the adjacency list uh, using Python code. So previously, we wrote the adjacency list using the algorithm manually, as you can see right here. So let's go write the Python code. I'd like you to pause the video and think of a better way or a good way to build this adjacency list. Well, one thing you can remember is that to build the adjacency list, we need to iterate the list. We need to traverse the tree, all the nodes. But instead of printing out the content of the node, we are going to then actually uh, create a list for each of the nodes and then insert the children there. So let me write the code and then explain. So one thing we can do here is to use an existing code because this code actually traverses the tree. So let's copy it and then modify it. You know, that's what programmers do. <laughs> we kind of copy codes and then modify it to, to do what we want it to do. So I'm going to call this, call this uh, uh, function make list. So this function is basically this similar to what we already did, but now instead of printing out the data, we are going to simply create an empty list. And for the left, if there's a left subtree, we are going to insert data into this empty list. So let's just go to it. So I'm going to create a new list, a new list for this particular data R because at the point R, when R is not written, but R is there, which is a root of that particular subtree. So I'm going to say, um, create a new list. I'm going to say D, R the data. I'm going to show you what exactly is happening. So we create a new list and that list is actually, uh, we have to actually create a new dictionary here. Dictionary is equal to, yeah. So we have a dictionary and we are making an entry into the dictionary at each point, at each node here, at each node right here, let me just write it, at each node right here, we are going to create a dictionary entry, right? Which is empty for now until we have to check the left subtree and the right subtree. And that's what will determine what will be the content of this list. For now it's empty. All right, so we are going to now come here. So remember here is what, where we actually gonna print the data in case of printing our pre-order in order or post-order. So instead of printing, we are going to simply, we are going to simply uh, check the left and right subtree uh, and then uh, fill up this uh, list right here. So let's check the, the left subtree. So I'm gonna say if r.left, it means there is a left, left subtree. So we're going to simply insert this data as a child of this particular uh, uh, node, which we are currently on. So we are going to say d r the data dot append and r the left dot data. So simply append the data from the left tree. So at this point, we are going to say append c C as the child or as one of the list items of G, right? So I think it's quite clear. So let me just do exactly the same thing for the right subtree. I'm going to say if R dot right dr uh, sorry d data uh, R dot data dot append. We are going to append R dot right dot data. Okay, so this is what we have right now. And at the end of the day, we are going to simply return return D. The reason we are returning D is that this list has modified D. Remember, D is a reference variable right here. But this list is modi modifying D, and we are going to return the modified D. Now, which contains all the items we need. So let's go ahead to print it and let's see if it works. So I'm going to first say adjacency list is equal to make list and I'm going to give it the root. And then let's print out the adjacency list now. So I'm going to say print and print the A list and let's see. So I'm going to hit on the run button. Uh, you say node object has no attributes, right? What does this mean? Uh, R I G H T. Okay, G H T. Uh, G H T. Okay, perfect. 
So I'm clicking on run again and you can see that it actually prints out the IDSense list right here. Okay, so let me just teach you one thing, how to format the prints so that it actually prints line by line. So let me come here and just use a loop to show you how to print out in the same line, or I mean in separate lines. So I'm going to say for elements in um, what? In a list. Okay, so I'm going to simply print I'm going to simply print, what am I going to print? I'm going to use a format like this, okay, open and close. So I'm going to print the element, uh, the dictionary item, which is the key, which is D of the... So let me just get it right so I don't mix things up. Okay, so we're going to put it here and space and then, yeah. So we're going to print the key here and the value here. So what is the key here? The key is... D E L E, that's the key. And the value is, sorry, the key, it should be E L E, that's the current key, because we are iterating the keys. And the value is going to be D E L E, yeah. So D E L E simply prints the value of E L E. So I'm going to run and let's see. And now you can see that everything prints exactly in the same line, and this is exactly the adjacency list we have. Uh, created previously. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So I'm going to be stopping here. Uh, I'd like to thank you for viewing. Let's now see uh, the next part we are going to be talking about now is to do a bright first search of a binary tree, uh, which is, yeah, this is what we just did now, okay? We are now going to do bright first search the Python code for the breakfast search, and they are, we are going to be using queues to implement it. So I'm going to be stopping here. Please also remember to subscribe and leave me a comment if this has been informative.